My resolution for 2023 is to not spend a single day feeling a wisp of shame that I was taught to live in as a young evangelical. Listen, I believe there is a divine spirit of the universe that we can connect to, and it is a spirit of goodness. It looks nothing like the American white Euro Christian God we've been taught about. The spirit of heaven draws us to our best self and our ability to love ourselves so that we can love our neighbor and even our enemy. Genesis 15 tells us this mystical story of Abraham and God making a covenant together, cutting animals in half and laying them on the side of a path. This was a ceremonial covenant between two families. The heads of the households would walk through the animals together and say, let it happen to me as these animals if my household doesn't live up to this bargain to make your family our family, your enemies our enemies. But in this mystical story in Genesis, God alone goes through the two animals and says, if our covenant's ever broken, I'll pay the price for that. You don't have to worry about it at all. And the Bible says numerous times, Abraham believed God and was credited to him as righteousness. He didn't have to be taught he was a sinner. He didn't have to say a magical sinner's prayer. He just walked in partnership with heaven and it was credited to him as righteousness. And in the book of Exodus, starting in chapter 19, God offers that same covenant to the Israelites. But they say, no thanks, we want a covenant with our God like our neighbors have, a God that will hate those that we hate, that will kill our enemies, and that if we manipulate with just the right prayers and dancing and stuff, that God will make our crops grow and rain come. And God says, that's a bad choice, but okay, if that's the way you want to do it, here's 600 rules. Follow these or else. And the story of Jesus was, that was a bad covenant. Let's be done with that and live under a new covenant that looks like the one Abraham had. Jesus even yelled, the covenant is fulfilled on the cross. That's the story of the Bible, a restoration between humanity and heaven that causes us to be our best, to love even our enemies so that we can survive as a species with a planet that can survive or endure the hell of wiping each other out. The first step to understanding all of that is getting rid of the idea of shame. Any God that looks like us, that wants you to worship him or else be set on fire, is not the God of heaven. That's a small man-made God that looks a lot like us. So get rid of that God in 2023 and find the real spirit of heaven so you can live without shame.